today we're going to be talking about multiplying uh, and factoring. Actually, yesterday's video was on multiplying. Today we're going to learn something called factoring. Um, to begin, we're going to actually first start by learning how to find the greatest common factor um, of a polynomial. So what you're going to do to find the greatest common factor, you need to look at each polynomial individually or each term individually, and you need to write down its factors. Um, if you have trouble writing out its factors, you can uh, do a factor tree. Three is pretty easy to do. Its factors are three and one. I don't need to write the one. I'm just going to write the three. So I have three, and then I have x cubed. In order to break that down, what you do is you just do write it out as three x's. So we're breaking it down into its prime factors. This one has factors of three x, x, and x. Then we have negative two x squared. I'm going to put a negative just right out here. Uh, for now, uh, and then 2 breaks down into 2 times 1, but I don't need to write the 1. x squared, that's going to be times x times x. Okay, so I've got the second term done. The third term, 15, the two factors of 15 are 3 and 5, so I'm going to do 3 times 5, and then there's 1x. And each of these are plus, so um, you need, that's kind of important for what's coming up in the next example. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle what all of these have in common. Um, if you look at this, there's an x in common in all three of these. There is nothing else in common, however. So the greatest common factor of this polynomial is x, because that's all that all three have in common is just an x, one x. So that is the greatest common factor. Now let's look at letter b. Letter b, we have 5 and then d cubed, so that's 5 times 1 is the factors of 5, so we just write the 5, and then 3 d's. Okay, 10 breaks down into 2 times 5, and then d. There's 1 d there. So then we can circle what's in common here. We have 5's, one set of 5's, and one set of d's. So our greatest common factor then on this problem is 5 d. C's got a little bit bigger numbers, but that's okay. If you have any trouble, you can also do a factor tree. We might do a factor tree on either 12 or 24. First, let's look at 6m cubed. 6, its factors are 2 times 3. And then we have m cubed, so that's 3m's. Then we have negative 12. We'll go ahead and put the negative out here. 12, if you want to do a factor tree, we could do that. We could do, here's 12. It breaks down into 2 and 6. But 6 is not a prime factor, so we need to break that one down even further to where we have 2 times 3. So the factors for that one are 2 times 2 times 3, and then m squared, so we have m times m. So those are our factors for the second one. On the third one, negative 24, we'll go ahead and put our negative out. 24, you can do a factor tree again if you want. You have 2 and 12. Well, we already have 12's factors. Those are right here. So then we just add an additional 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times m. And now we can circle what's in common. They have 2 in common. They have 3 in common. And they have an m in common. So their greatest factor then is 2 times 3, which is 6, and then m. So the greatest common factor then is 6m. And that is how you find the greatest common factor on a polynomial. The reason I wanted to show you that is because on example 2, we're going to have to learn how to factor out a monomial. In order to do that, we first start with the process of what we did up here, finding the greatest common factor. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 4, which breaks down into 2 times 2, and then we have x times x times x. The 12, we found the greatest common factors up here. It's 2 times 2 times 3, and then times x times x. 8 breaks down into 4 and 2, but then the 4 breaks down into 2 and 2. So we have... 2 times 2 times 2 times x. And I'm going to put my negative out in front of this because that does that is negative and it is going to help us out in this problem. 
Okay, let's go ahead and circle what's in common. We have a set of twos in common, another set of twos, and then it looks like we have one set of x's. So our greatest common factor, we're going to start by writing that down. That greatest common factor is 2 times 2, which is 4, so we have 4x is the greatest common factor. Now, here's where the new part comes in. After you write your greatest common factor, I want you to open a set of parentheses. What we're going to do now is write what's left in each term. So on the, on the top, the first term, we have an x squared left, so we write x squared. Okay. Then we have a 3x. Now, this is plus out here, so I'm, my next sign is plus. So it's plus 3x. Here we have a minus in common, so it's minus, or not in common, I'm sorry, we have a minus out here. So we have minus 2, so we're going to write minus 2. And this is how you factor out a monomial out of this polynomial. This is going backwards from what we did in yesterday's video. If we were to multiply this out like we did in yesterday's video, we would get this answer back. So we're kind of just going backwards from yesterday's assignment. So now let's look at letter B. Let's do that one. We have 5b to the fifth power. So we have 5 times, and then we have 5b's. b times b times b times b times b. So we have 5b's there. 10 breaks down to 2 times 5, and then we have 3b's. All right, so it looks like we have a 5 in common, and we have 3b's in common. So, and then I'm going to put my signs out here just so I know what sign to put when I factor. So the common, greatest common factor is 5v cubed, 5v to the third power. Open a set of parentheses like we did on the last problem. On top we have a b squared left. On bottom we have a plus 2 left. So what you're writing in these parentheses is what's left in your terms, what's left after you've taken out the greatest common factor. And again, if we were to multiply these out together, then we would end up with this answer back, okay? All right, let's do this last one. The last one, we have 4 uh, b cubed. So 4 breaks down into 2 times 2, and then we have b times b times b. The next term is negative 2b squared, so we have negative 2b times b. Then we have negative 6, so that's negative. 6 breaks down into 2 times 3 times b. So if you look and see what we have in common, we have a set of 2's in common and a set of b's in common. There's nothing else in common, so that's our greatest common factor, which is 2b. Open your set of parentheses and we're going to write what's left in each term. On top we have 2b squared left, so we have 2b squared is our first term in the parentheses, minus b minus 3. And that is our answer. And that is how we factor a monomial out of a polynomial. Thank you for listening.